Okay, so in our previous video, we did just the general pen tool, right? You were able to practice how to um, make a shape that's closed. Um, you can make a curved line by clicking or dragging. Um, and I'm going to zoom out really quick and I'm going to clear the space. Uh, command zero gets you to like your page, center of your page. Um, I'm going to just show you a quick um, exercise like this. It's a really good shape to practice your pen tool skills. Um, it's like an umbrella top shape. So you'll kind of see how you can practice clicking and dragging and then practice changing directions and closing a shape. Okay, so I don't know why it keeps going there. So I'm going to get my pen tool. Um, I'm going to make sure that there is no fill right here, right? So it's question mark. No fill and a, a stroke that I can see. So I'm going to pick, let's say, a dark red. Okay, so um, I'm going to select... My first point so I've clicked once the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just eyeball like the top of my umbrella and I clicked once and now I didn't pick up my mouse or my trackpad and I dragged so I can get that curved line okay my pen naturally wants to follow right me so this mouse cursor and I have these smart guides set up so it's going to be a very pretty umbrella and I'm going to click once no clicking or dragging needed because it's naturally following that curve you see that okay now the natural tendency is for the pen tool to make a circle but I'm going to tell it I want to change directions. I'm going to zoom in really quick. I'm going to click on this point once. And you see like that little triangle is telling it I'm going to change directions. Okay. So I'm going to click on it once. Then I'm going to go to this next point wherever. I'm just eyeballing this. I click once. And I continue to hold down my mouse so I can drag and make that curve. Let go. I do it again. So I click once to change directions. And I click and I drag. Okay. I click once to change direction. I move it over. And I click and I drag. I click once to tell the pen tool to change direction. I click and I drag. I'm going to do it this last one. Okay, so I've closed the shape on that final jump over. And then I'm going to click away, right? And you can see that it's like still a fill is empty and there's no stroke. So I'm going to do my little swap button. You can see that we've got an umbrella top. Okay. So if your umbrella top looks like mine, good job. If it doesn't, that's okay. Got to keep trying. Um, I know that the clicking and dragging is a little bit different. Um, so I'll, I'll show you what it looks like if you do not change directions on the scallops, because sometimes it's one portion of it that kind of, uh, throws a wrench in everybody's system. So like the first point people usually get second point you click and drag everybody 
Sometimes this feels pretty good. You're like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Everybody feels pretty good right about here too. And then this is where doubt strikes. So after that initial, you let it go and you're right here, you're gonna go back, click once. And then you're gonna go over here. You're gonna click and drag. It does make a difference. So I'm going to move this aside. This is what it looks like if you do not go back and change directions. You're going to see that the, the scallop edge of your umbrella isn't quite round, uh, isn't quite pointed. Okay, so here we are. If I did not click on this and I just moved on, looks like I could fake it pretty well. But then I go over here and then I continue. And you can see that that scalloped edge is not the same, right? Very obvious. So practice so you can figure out how to switch directions just like this one, um, because you'll need to learn when you start drawing things, okay? Um, so in your assignment, I asked you to, um, create a couple little illustrations so um you can use that opportunity to um kind of play around with the pen tool i would highly recommend that you look at your answers that you you know your answers for your assignment like for each of the 12 questions and then just kind of draw a little sketch of like oh you know what could be a simple something that I could draw to add to my layout. So if it's um, a butterfly, a flower, a cup of coffee, um, I will do a couple of like the basic shapes just so you can see, but it'll be easier for you to know with your pen tool what to do. So at the very least if you are getting the umbrellas wonderfully you know you can challenge yourself and you can make the umbrella handle um but i'm going to just kind of tack this one on really quick with your umbrella video so if you wanted to do oops if you wanted to do, let's say, a heart, so I'm gonna, gonna get my pen tool. I'm gonna swap this color so you can see this joke and my heart will be, um, let's go pink. Okay, so this is a great exercise in clicking and dragging as well. So here's my first point, All right? And then I'm gonna click and drag. You'll see that the pen tool wants to follow. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Love isn't sometimes. Heart. Okay, so now it's closed and I can fill it. All right, so you can make one semi cool heart copy and paste it you know you can use it just save it in your document um i'm swapping this using the key command shift x okay it's right here if you hover over that you can see shift x is the shortcut i'm gonna do i think i have time for one more 
mm, let's say part of your answer like the little illustration you want to use maybe you want to um do i don't know um a light like you're the light of the world or maybe um a birthday candle of sorts um don't forget you have all of these other shapes you know available to you so you i'm gonna click away i'm gonna start a brand new shape and i know that i want to make maybe an orange Ooh. like a teal a teal candle so i pick my stroke color and i've got my rectangle tool i'm gonna make a rectangle then with my pen tool click and drag okay go back to that first point don't forget to close all your shapes so here's my candle right now i can color this in and i want not that one to be teal but i want it to be orange right once you have one candle you can group it so you can go object group copy paste you know if you want to try this is a little bit more advanced but you can um, click and you drag it over if you hold down your option key you can make a copy and then since birthday candles are the way they are you can change the color right by using your white arrow tool and save right so those are a couple like basic tools but whatever it is you want to draw whether it's a, a coffee cup a plate a muffin or whatever sketch it out on paper just so then you can kind of know what your stroke lines will be when you have that pen tool in hand okay um so obviously don't forget to save i've got one last extras video for you for those of you who feel very confident um but you know everyone else you can continue to practice and then um after the extras video, I'll save one other video for how to place things in InDesign. All right. All right. Don't forget to save.